Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to demo how to use the Pandora's Box Arcade with a Raspberry Pi. I'm using it with a Raspberry Pi 2 with Recall Box as the operating system. Pandora's Box Arcade systems are great with their built-in games. However, they are mostly arcade games. Home video games aren't included, so this is where Raspberry Pi can do a better job if those are the types of games you play. Luckily, the Pandora's Box has a USB port that can be used to plug up to a computer or a Raspberry Pi. To use it as a game controller, you don't actually need to power the Pandora's Box at all, so you don't need to plug up the power adapter at all. Just plug up the included USB cable to the Raspberry Pi and then plug up the HDMI cable to your monitor and that's pretty much it. And as a case, I have this old school NES shell that I got off of Amazon. Since the enclosure has so much room, it's very possible to install a Raspberry Pi into it and then basically just make the cutouts for the uh, HDMI and audio and power. So for my operating system, I prefer to use Recall Box, but the other distributions like uh, RetroPie or Laka should work. The first thing to do is to set up the controls and what you might have to do is plug up a keyboard because um, you won't be able to navigate through here if you haven't set up the Pandora's box as a controller yet. Go into the controller setting and then choose configure a controller and this is where it's going to tell you how to configure it and how to skip buttons just by holding one of the buttons that you're not going to use. So hit OK and it's detected one gamepad. Hold down the button so now you're going to set up the controls. So we're going to set up the up, down, left, right. Uh, this is where you can skip this. So hold down the button, hold down the button to skip the joystick and controls because there isn't one. And then you hit A, B, X, Y, start, select. And then we're going to hit page up or L, uh, page down or R. And we're going to skip these buttons. So just hold down a button and that should skip it. So skip R2, L3, and R3. And for the hotkey, we're gonna use the select button and hit okay. And that's pretty much it. Now what you wanna do is select the default input for player one, and we're gonna use the 3H Dual Arcade. And then we're gonna go back. And I'm gonna test a game for you just to show you that it works. So I'm gonna play Mighty Final Fight. The Raspberry Pis are very popular for emulating various game systems. And it does a really good job, especially with the latest uh, Raspberry Pi 3, since it is a lot faster than the previous models. So to exit out of the game, all you do is press the select and start button, and then you're back to the main menu where you can select games. Anyways, that's it for this video. I just wanted to do a really quick video about using it with a Raspberry Pi just to give you some ideas. Anyways, if you like what you see, comment, like, or subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.